Uh, we are now at the proposed girls' vocational school uh, where we are going to train young girls or girls who have dropped out of school after primary or secondary education here in Karamoja and also the rest of the country, those girls who are interested in doing vocational training. Because normally speaking, most of the girls get only training in vocational training in tailoring, but we like to offer them something more varied and more maybe interesting for them to be able to manage in the job or the job market. So we're going to offer them hospitality training, hospitality management and tourism. We're going to offer them an agriculture and livestock course where they will become extension workers in the community to help the people in the community and Karamoja as agriculturalists, they are pastoralists, and they need their own children to help them, to teach them on how to, to vaccinate animals, to inject animals, what is treatment, how to help them on hygiene and sanitation. And that's why we're having agriculture and livestock course. And then we're also going to have a construction building. The Karamojong women are the ones who build traditionally at home. So the idea of construction here is to train them to also use the stones, use the local available materials here to make bricks and then build houses. And then we're going to have um, a course on art and craft and design. So that's actually all put together a holistic way of training. That's what we want to offer here to the girls. So as we see, we have already put for them classrooms are here, two classrooms with an office. Then we have a place that the girls will be staying at school. So we have a dormitory for them, two dormitories, which will take about 100 girls if the school is full, but we shall begin next year with 50 girls, the first, first year. Then we have a workshop, it will be a workshop for construction, the one you see there. Then we have houses for teachers, they are behind there. My request to you people in Holland or wherever in the world to help us to sponsor the girls. These girls, they come from very poor families. They would love to go to school. They would love to do training, to go do vocational training, but they cannot even raise just, even just 10 euro. So if somebody somewhere, somewhere, energizes a group, energizes themselves, say, Florence, we want to sponsor three girls or four girls, to be great. And that's only 300 or 400 euro in a year. You, you really give some child a future. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be the bit, most beautiful thing that you people would do in, in our countries where we have a little bit more than here. Thank you very much.